Namaste, love and light, star seeds. I hope all is well with you guys. Send y'all love, light, abundance, and prosperity. We're going to go ahead and do a quick reading. All right, somebody could be irritated and frustrated with you because I feel like they're frustrated because they still see you moving forward. And, ow, oh, ooh, shit. My crystal, I was... <laughs> All right, I, I I see needle. I was thinking of needle when that happened. I don't know if this person was playing with needles, nails with their spell work. I was going to say it's because their spells, they end up pricking themselves. All right, my daughter was playing with my crystals yesterday. She always played with them, and this is what she did. She created like a fortress. All right, y'all definitely protected with that fortress there. All right, this is what she, she created. <laughs> She's playing on my desk. She got the cards and the crystals right in. It created some, like, you know, dust from the cellulite. Wow, my crystals don't play no games, okay? My crystals will stab a person. Look, it came from my cellulite. You see, it kind of, like, messed up. Look, ooh. Somebody could have been using needles to prick their finger to do blood work. This was clearly an accident. This was not on purpose. I was trying to clear off my desk. Let me do that. That cellulite is sharp. Gosh. Okay, this person was using needles to prick their, their blood and to do blood work. Somebody was using their period blood as well. If y'all see, I want y'all to see, like, little crystal stuff is on my... Can y'all see? Well, y'all know. Y'all believe me. Little crystal stuff. Hold on, babes. Hey, y'all, that's the tea about this person is that they was freaking using, utilizing needles to prick their finger to collect blood. I'm telling you, the more I put pressure on it, the more blood come out, man. I got to hold pressure. I got to keep it held down. Oh, my foot. Ah. This person was sticking needles in your feet. This person was using a voodoo doll. I pray y'all did not know. Y'all, this motherfucker was using a voodoo doll. And you know, I feel like they was trying so hard to put that on you that you using a voodoo doll on. How the fuck they know that? So that would make them run to the fucking nearest candle store, spiritual store, and, and or online, go online and order a voodoo doll. I, I feel all these people, that's what Spirit saying, all these people was using voodoo dolls. And I'm getting, for some of you guys, you could have found that hard to believe. All right, because you didn't understand why, but I'm getting these people didn't want you to believe that they was using voodoo dolls. All right, if they didn't want you to believe it, and they ain't doing it, I'm sorry, if they ain't doing it, they, they shouldn't even worry about you, you know, knowing it or not, or believing it or not, especially if they ain't doing it. You know what I'm saying? This person is guilty. Okay? I think it's done now. Y'all see how I accidentally pricked myself with my crystal? My crystals don't play. My crystals is, is the fucking needle that y'all trying to put into my fucking foot or the collector's foot. All right, my, my crystals got my back. Yes, my crystal will block out a hex. Yes, she would or he would. Yes, and it will keep me grounded and protected. Yes, sir. Yes, sir -y. Okay, these karmics are sick. All right, uh-oh, there's still some blood coming out. This is real shocking. I'm seeing these people. They don't want, they were trying to block your third eye. They didn't want you to see they were using a voodoo doll. Y'all, they was using a voodoo doll. A voodoo doll. Okay, and it was pricking their finger to collect blood to do blood work. This is why they are crossed up with karma and voodoo. Okay, and that same voodoo that they did with the voodoo doll affected them. They can't believe it. That's why they can't believe it. And they and they still like they they're a suspect. They are a suspect. Yes, they are a, they in suspect mode right now. So they could be trying to dodge and hide because they feel so ashamed. They don't want people to know they're in suspect mode. They feel like the cops after them because they were playing with voodoo dolls. And that same needle that was pricking in your foot was happening on their foot. They can't believe it. That's what probably made them think you had a voodoo doll. Now, uh honey, if y'all ever watched the horse, the American Horror Story, and that black girl pressure, she was a human voodoo doll. All right. She can cut someone and end up cutting somebody. Honey, you a walking voodoo doll. They try to cut you and they end up getting cut. They can't do shit to you, man. All that they try to do to you, but that voodoo doll happened to them. Voodoo doll having asses. Motherfuckers. Excuse my language.
language, y'all. That shit pissed me off. Bunch of fucking fools. That's why they thought that they could win. And that's why they find it so hard to believe that they lost. Because they was playing with voodoo dolls. Pricking their fucking finger for to with blood to kill you with rituals. They forgot about the, the that about the divine's light, the blinding bright light that we have that cast out all voodoo. And it's stronger magic than voodoo. Voodoo is powerful. All right, but when we get to those galactic, those that galactic magic. Oh please, please. Voodoo is ancient. Yes, it is. But like I said, star seed, galactic magic, star seed magic is separate from voodoo. Okay? Separate is a whole different whatever. And you have blinding bright white light. Y'all got too much protection. Y'all even protected by voodoo. Like I said, you're a walking voodoo doll. Fuck out of here. Motherfuckers trying to prick you. I mean, trying to prick your foot. Yeah. And they foot end up getting pricked. life you know is, is happening this way they can't believe god is allowing this to happen why wouldn't god let this happen you let it happen you use your free will you think god gonna stop you you your own god or god is honey believe that huh you got your own power to do what the fuck you want to do god cannot intervene and stop you from playing with a voodoo doll you already convinced that you're gonna use a voodoo doll Yeah, now they're trying to be distant from people. Look, suspicious. They feel like a suspect, and people are suspicious of them. And that's why they withdraw from people. Karmics are dumb. They didn't think people was going to notice, you was going to notice. And I'm going to put playing. They was playing around with these things. They wasn't being serious. They were just playing around to see if it was going to work. And once they saw it was going to work, they were going to keep doing it until you die and then do it on other people. Hell no. They was playing a dangerous game with the voodoo and black magic. Just get back dangerous ass game with the voodoo and the shit backfired. This person is a prick. They, they tried everything. All spiritual resources, all spiritual tools. And that voodoo doll and pricking their fucking finger was like the last resort for them. Or like that's just how desperate they got. Man, they can't believe your crystals protected you. They sure did. See how they gave me that warning? When I was cleaning off the rest of that cellulite um dust. All right, that my daughter was messing with. Where's the cellulite again? The little one that I, I showed y'all. I can't remember I put it that fast. Okay, but my crystal was trying to show me, like, these mofos was pricking their finger to do spells. Y'all, I don't know where I put that other crystal. I put it somewhere. Oh, yeah, over here. Why is it way over here? And I think it was this one, because you see it's kind of, like, cracked up and stuff. Okay? I don't think it was this one, because this one is, you know, it got cracked up, too, but this was, like, old cracks from when she was playing. So it had been that cellulite. And I have another cellulite. Listen, we protected over here. These comics is dumb. They're dumb. They want to say you're dumb. You're the one that's doing it too. Look at them childish. That's a red flag. Just know anybody who says that, that's a red, that's a karmic. You're doing it too. That's a karmic. Uh-uh, that's a child. All right, that's a child. An adult body. Stay away. All right, this person is a liar. They lied. They lied on you, and they lied to others. They, I'm, I'm getting. They lied on you. They made. They had you. They, they were trying to make you look like this person that was doing spells on them, and you were trying to ruin their life and take. Why the fuck would they go around on the rampage, lying, telling people that you after their life? Like, do they not have control of their life, or, 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 or are they that codependent? These people are losing. They were sitting up on the phone talking about you, saying how you doing all this stuff. All right, and they was talking, they was on the phone talking about some how they a mermaid. They connected with Yamaya. They a mermaid, like Yamaya and stuff. 
They copy that from you. And then they'll sit back and talk about you on the phone, brag about how they this merman, they work with your Maya, and then do spells on you. This person was ass backwards. They want to sit up here and try to put the blame on other people, all right, that was also involved. Like, no, spirit is like, no, all right? Karma coming after you, all right, because of they could have started it. Then maybe this person felt like they had unfinished business with you, so they were just going to keep attacking you. This person felt like they had unfinished business with you, so they are going to pop up to your house. I wish they would. I wish a nigga would. No, 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 nigga. Not nigga, I'm sorry, Nikki. I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish a bitch would. <gasps> you a stupid hoe. You, you a stupid hoe. Period. Y'all hoes is stupid. Okay? <laughs> I just made that work real well. I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish a bitch would. You a stupid hoe. Get out of here with your narcissistic ass. These karma, they feel stupid. This could be a female. She feel dumb, little, young in the inside. Like young as in like child. It's like she feel like a child. She feel like she listened to the wrong people. She feel like she did everything for the wrong reason. Like I feel like this bitch was trying to change her life with magic. But she, and it's like the thing is she wasn't trying to use magic. Like use the ancestors for her. Like spirit, can you do this? Can you do that? She was actually attack, using the spirit to attack you. And to take what you, what you have in your life and, and, and integrate it into her life. It's not like she was trying to manifest and build from her own energy. She was trying to take from you and then use that to build. Like, she got karma from, for that. And even with the, I even spoke about the Galactus earlier, even by the star beings. For some of you guys, this karma was trying to use the star beings to attack you. This person was inspired to use the star beings for voodoo. That's not even how you use them. Like I said, their magic is separate from voodoo. Some of the galactic magic includes crystals, light energy, technology, and stuff. You know, and this is, this is cosmic technology here. This is not like no computer or whatever like that. I know what I'm talking about. All right, and this karmic was inspired to use the star beings and, uh, and inspired to call on Yamaya after you could have brought Yamaya to her attention. And they got another to talk about you with the same friends who you thought was your friend because this could have been a friend group. They was all faking too fast. They didn't want to admit that. They didn't think they was being fake. I'm, they was like, I'm not fake. I'm not even your friend. I don't even like you. I never even one time said anything um, anything that I like you or I'm your friend. So it's okay for me to do that. No, it's not. Because if, if, if me and you ain't friends and you a stranger to me, and I'm being that means I'm being attacked by a legit stranger and being harassed by a stranger. And that means you deserve to go to jail. This is probably why they're paranoid about going to jail because they know that they was harassing you and they was doing death spells. These karmics are crazy. They're crazy for doing death spells, man. They feel it. They feel crazy. They know they're crazy. They know they ain't coming back from this. Like I said, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish a bitch would motherfucking pop up at your motherfucking house with they unstable ass coming to your house stubborn and shit because they know that they got karma. They hot in their true feelings that they feel some type of way because they spells ain't work, bitch. But I feel like a karmic was desiring to like beat you up, fight you. She was playing around with picture magic. This bitch was wilding. And for her to sit up here and pretend like she ain't doing anything, like she can't say that. She can't say she didn't do it because she did. All right. Some of y'all wear Gucci Couture. All right. Not Gucci. Oh, some of y'all wear Gucci. Some of y'all wear Couture or Juicy Couture. And this karmic could have been jealous of how the way you dress. Like you, you may wear designer. You may wear nice designer. You know, she may have a few pieces, but it's, it's like you may have custom pieces. You may have pieces that she can't find that you only have to go to New York to get. You know, LA to get. You get what I'm saying? You, you, sh it's shipped from England or Europe. You know, it's like. It's like with I'm getting like vanity, but and I'm not getting vanity in like a materialistic way. Like it'll say, oh, you're all about vanity. Like I'm getting like you have a lot of nice stuff. You may have your own vanity in your bathroom. She could be jealous of your bathroom, how the way your house looks. I feel like y'all were just around a bunch of jealous hoes. These hoes are jealous of your kids too. All right, cause your kids is cute, and she and, and maybe she don't feel like her kids cute, or she wanna have cute kids like you. I feel like y'all just around a bunch of broken spirits. Yeah. Broken spirited people. And this is why they was attacking you. They want to say, I'm not broken spirit. No, no, no. It's like they can't explain to you why they did what they did. But yet they don't want to take accountability that they was vulnerable. They was mad. You know, they was being judgmental. They was being aggressive. They felt provoked because their demons provoked them. They don't want to admit that. All right. But they're going to keep facing karma whether they admit it or not. Look, I told you. They was jealous. This is a hater, a spiteful hater that was jealous and envious of your life. Look at that dog. Look at the dog. 
Sorry if I'm yelling in y'all ear, but this is serious. Look at the doll. Look at it. This karmic was using voodoo dolls on you because it was hateful, spiteful, and jealous and envious. And, and I feel like spirit clearly warned you to stay away from this karma. They are ahead of there, not your friend. They only like to be around you to see what you got going on, to see what you got, so they can try to mimic and copy that. Then they got to know to try to victimize you for trying to take their power. All right. And it's like they could have told a parent, a mom, a mom figure. I'm seeing cancer. All right. Somebody's mom could be a cancer or um cancer represents the mother somebody told their mom and their mom got mad at you and started hating on you and you wasn't even doing shit this and now the mom is looking at this person as the hater like you was hating this whole time like you know why i feel like this mom was supporting this hater friend doing spell work and voodoo and now that the voodoo ain't working this mom see that you know it was you who they was attacking first and that could have you know which made you be upset or whatever send whatever back okay and now the mother is fucking mad and I feel like this mother is also jealous of her daughter. That's what's being revealed. Like, this whole household is fucked up. And it was all trying to mask as if they got a, a perfect household or whatever. And that's just not true. All right? This could have been a friend, man. Somebody was projecting that their brother is better for you or some shit. How the fuck? Some of you guys, your friend was trying to hook you up with her brother. And he karmic. Like her ass. Yeah, he wanted to deck fix and chill with you. And I feel like he was determined to take you down and be with you. He was obsessed with you. All right, he's, he's, he's facing rock bottom right now. He's facing karma. I feel like he only wants you because he's going through issues. Y'all definitely opposites. Y'all don't attract. Y'all were just here to teach each other a lesson. Y'all have different spiritual beliefs. I feel like this damn, oh my gosh. If Listen, your friend's trying to hook you up with her brother. And I feel like he's just as crazy as her. Okay. Not your friends, man. Some of you guys, these karmas claim that y'all were like best friends. Like, how that's your best friend? And I feel like this karma would get jealous when you would say that about other friends. You get what I'm saying? Like, and this karma thought you were jealous and you was never jealous. I'm getting infiltration, infiltrated. Like, these karmas infiltrated your energetic field to try to take you down. This time somebody could have infiltrated the spiritual community as well. These karmas was infatuated by you, though. And they was in denial about it. They was obsessed and attracted to you. This is what made them so jealous. They was infatuated by your power, your essence, your energy. Like, how can I have that energy, too? They're unemployed. They ain't got no work. Somebody could just, you know, they could be a sex worker. Like, they just have sex for money. But they won't get out, get up and get a real job. All right? They're unemployed. They ain't got no money. They ain't got no job. Look, and they sitting back, sitting back at home spiritually attacking you while they out here unemployed with no job. No high school diploma I'm getting, no degree, no legacy, nothing. They're just wasteful. This is waste. This is a wasteful karmic. Thank you, Crystal, for revealing that truth this earlier. Yeah, because these karmas was desiring, killing you. Like, it was desirable. All right, self-pleasure. You killing them was self-pleasure. All right, and, they, and with this intense feelings, they felt like, felt intensely to kill you. Like, they felt like it was, like, it, they, they was guided. Like, it was a part of their destiny, their mission to kill you. These people signed a bad soul contract. This was not with the Most High. This was some other entity. And they was happy to do it, and they failed. Listen, because your inferno spirits pulled up and was like, motherfucker, please. Stand back! F out of here. <laughs> I wish I wish I wish I wish I wish I wish I bitch would. Fucking hater. All right, look. What unfinished business do y'all have? All right, these karmics, I'm getting, they desire you because they feel like y'all have unfinished business. Now they want forgiveness. They want to give you a better offer, not a dirty offer. They want to reconcile. It's too late. They was too childish. I feel like a part of them is still childish and stubborn. And they just feel like with this planning, and see it says, um, the clock i'm just getting time it's like divine time and divine planet it's going to take them some time to get out of this childish energy this stubborn energy all right you you accept their friendship you let them be cool with you again you let them back in they're not going to be changed i'm telling you you they're going to get caught up again red-handed take secrets exposed more secrets being exposed all right surprise and shocking news i feel like this karma is going to be surprised and shocked they're going to receive more bad news all right, somebody got scammed somebody bank account is going to be in negative somebody got like their bank account got flushed Okay, somebody could like con continuously keep spending money. Me, people who feel like y'all got unfinished business got caught up. I feel like they was they wanted to fight you because they got caught for doing stuff to you, for doing picture ma picture magic, and being childish. Their marriage is broken. 
all right they're shattered here they're toxic these people have toxic attachments on them like greedy attachment that like to feed they're greedy and i feel like they're very tired and they could be sick but i'm getting like they're really tired like energy just weighing down on them like they're exhausted like they have no energy all right and i feel like i have nothing to do with like the retrograde i have nothing to do with the solar flares i just feel like they got like if that's what they're trying to say oh it's the it's the floater flares it's the spiritual it's not they got demons on them all right, they're they walking around with a lot of heaviness on their back and on their shoulders. All right, and honestly, ain't no solar flare or no ascension symptom going to make you feel like you're over it. You're sick and tired of life. You're, you're, you're tired of going through these same cycles like, you know, not how the way this person is going. You know, typically, y'all know what I mean. When you have those epiphanies, those shocking epiphanies, those spiritual awakenings, clarity, it comes from a place of love, and you get your power back. This person don't feel powerful. They feel tired. And they want to say, oh, it's the Simpson symptoms. It's the universe. No, honey, it's your demons that you're carrying. This karmic is legit tired. Okay? It's, I, I, I mean, they can believe that it's the Simpson symptoms. But if any karmic is here watching, it's your demons. They don't want to believe that. They wanted to believe that they are part of the spiritual ascension. They are part of this 5D. I'm sorry, but they're not. All right, they've been rejected. I feel like they know that they're rejected. They're stuck in the 3D because there's nothing around them that's 5D. They got nothing but bare problems. They made this decision to come after you. They made their bed. Hey, baby, let me put you over here. They made their bed and they have to lie in it. Simple as that. And that's what God is saying. That's what the universe is saying. That's what the spirits are saying. You made your bed, honey. You got to lie in it. That's just how we operate. All right, we don't operate based upon what you want. We operate out of fairness, righteousness, cosmic law, universal law. Sorry, not sorry, but no, we are not getting you out of this. You made that decision. You made your bed. You got to lie in it now. Karmic, you made your bed. You have to lie in it. You got caught. Somebody didn't start with a C. You got caught here, man. Somebody could have got caught having sex in, uh, in, in, in someone's house. You see, this is this is what I'm getting, like, Jezebel's energy. Like, these karmas are Jezebels, and they want to compare themselves to a divine goddess. They want to say, oh, you're, you're a Jezebel. I'm going to make you a Jezebel. I'll make you a hoe. I'll make you, you know, lay down and, 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 and eat my cum. That's what somebody said. That's what somebody said. And some of y'all, y'all got kids. They could have said this around your kids or some shit like this or about your kids. And they're eating their words. There's a, there's a huge fist in their mouth. There's, there's, there's a huge fist, fist in their mouth, and it's choking them. Okay, I don't know if somebody was trying to, like, say, I'll fist you, I'll do it. No, I feel like that shit is happening to them. I feel like the same way how this person wanted to degrade you sexually, they've been degraded sexually. I'm telling you, I told y'all, somebody had to have sex in order to pay back somebody. They had to give up pooms. You see, these karmics are worthless. All right, they're worthless because they, they, they'll, they'll give themselves up to anybody for money. And they'll open their legs up to anybody. These karmics was wrong. <laughs> they know you ain't you ain't about that life. As far as like same sex, that's what I'm getting honestly. Because this karmic was saying I'll make you lick my come or whatever like that. And this could have been coming from a female. They know you're not into that that lifestyle. They know that you are conservative. You're not really like a freak like that with any and everybody's only with your person so they were trying to take advantage of that shit strip you of that innocence they was even trying to get you to get raped to strip that would that listen that would have made you stronger and they would have never stripped you of your innocence and that would have sent them to jail and they would have got their asses beat that's what that's what it would would have resulted to jail time and their asses whoop these people thought it was big and bad they 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 i feel like these people have sexual traumas and they won't heal their sex demons Okay, again, they're unemployed. I feel like there's a few karmics that got no money. They broke. They've been fired. All right, a karmic is living beyond their means. I'm telling you, I told you that the other day. A karmic is, this is why they want to reconcile with you. They going broke. Now they feel like y'all meant to be because they ain't got no money. Tell them to get the F out of here. Okay, y'all could have reconciled with your real twin flame, your real divine masculine. All right, but I feel like y'all was dealing with a false twin. All right, I'm getting a, a false twin and a sister. Okay? Like I said, this could be a friend and a false twin. Yo, this friend could have knew this um this ex, or this could have been your sister. Alright? Their sister. Okay? Or they could have had a friend that was like a sister to them. Alright? But we have, um, you cut this false twin off. 
They want to message you, but you block them. You see, they're hitting rock bottom right now. They could be in jail. Their life is falling apart. And the fake friend, both of their life is falling apart. They don't want to admit it, but it's true. It's like, I feel like they they regret using your mind because your mind didn't help them. Your mind trapped them. Your mind did not help them. All right, I'm telling you, look, you are of high value. Your Maya chose you, picked you over these damn karmic. You are really chosen. These karmics are not chosen. It's you who's really chosen. You are the empress. You are sexy and beautiful, abundant and confident. And this is why, and this is an ex, he wanted you. This is why, if there's a friend, they wanted to be like you. Because you are of high value. And they were trying to pull you from that power, that powerful energy that makes you the empress, that makes you beautiful, sexy, abundant, and confident. They wanted to take that from you, make you go through a power struggle. You be all in balance. Somehow you be stubborn and then they'll end up having it. Like they like magic can do that. Magic can work like spirit can take somebody else's energy and give it to you. But what this karma failed to realize is that spirit can take. Listen, it's not spirit can take from someone and give it to you. No, spirit will only take back what this motherfucker took from you and give it back to you. All right. But if I see that somebody got something that I want and I use, let's just say Papa Legbot to take it from me. Papa Legbot going to give me fucking karma. And give me some bullshit to teach me a lesson. You you don't be greedy. Don't be jealous. You know better. You know yourself. Know your worth. Manifest your own life. Manifest your own blessings. Like I said, this friend was trying to use the spirits, use spells and rituals. Voodoo, blood work. Could have been an ex too. To take what's yours. Because I guess in their mind, they silly mind, they thought it was theirs. It was never theirs. If it was theirs, they, they would they would, they would already had it. It would have been the other way around. It wouldn't be them after you. It would have been you after them. Why are you after them and you and you and you got what you what, what you need? You have your gift, you have your spirituality, you're in your purpose. Alright, you love yourself. You get what I'm saying? Like, why the hell would you be after them? And they out here talking about the stuff that that they want, and you have that. It doesn't make any sense. They're toxic. This is why this motherfucker have no job. Because they're toxic. They could have got fired from their job because they're full of drama. Okay? I'm seeing Dharma as well. Like, they're, listen, Dharma operates out of, like, cosmic law, universal law. And for me, if you break those laws, Dharma, that will is going to move in, in your favor, quote unquote, in a way of how you respected or responded to those laws. So if you breaking laws, all right, and you doing all this stuff that can affect the person's life and change their life, your life about to be changed too. You're going to go through that same thing. And then that's when karma comes into play. These karmas better fucking recognize they was not following cosmic law. That's why shit ain't working out for them. They broke the law. And that's why they powerless, and they and for some of you guys, they could be homeless, or they feel like they have no spirit, they lost their spirit. For a lot of you guys, they never even evolved into higher self, into that lotus. They were still in ego, they were still growing out of their ego. These people are toxic, man. They love drama, they're addicted to drama. They love that toxic relationship. It makes them feel special. But this stubborn, I'm getting somebody that's abusive. Y'all could have been with someone that was abusive. They enjoy fighting with you and shit so they can beat you, your ass. That's what I'm getting. All right, and with this childish, it was very childish. And every time you were calling them out for being childish and mature, they would fucking try to hit you, punch you in the face or some shit. These people, and I feel like they could have, listen, if y'all was in an abusive relationship, rather spiritual, verbal, physical, um, mental, emotional, somebody was around them supporting that shit and not telling nobody the real truth, like what this person was doing behind your back and how they was trying to abuse you. They was like condoning that shit. And now I'm seeing this person is going to be in an abusive relationship. Whoever condoned you being in that re abusive relationship is going to experience that too, you guys. Again, dharma, karma. All right, what you want on to others is happening to you as well. They broke so many laws and all them laws coming back around on them and they got to experience that. Because I'm getting this person knew that this person was abusive and they wanted to keep you trapped in that abusive relationship. Not just the person who you was with, but somebody that was connected with them, that knew. All right, now you, you're receiving your blessing, you get to make it rain. You manifest in abundance. Legal matters is in your favor. Unexpected money slash promotion entrepreneur. They can't, this is what they were trying to stop. Then they can't stop that. It's like you already doing it. These people are stupid. I feel like they were looking at you as like this child, like this weak child, this baby that they can just bully. These were spiritual bullies. They were bullies. Thank you, God. Thank you, spirit. These were bullies. They were bullies. They were bullying you, starseeds. 
All right, because they thought that they was better. You know how bullies get down. They they hate on other people's life. They you know they 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 don't re they don't have what you have, so that's why they be a bully. All right, and it's sad that you had to deal with this bully here. But I feel like you put the egg right on their motherfucking face, and now they feel ashamed and all that shit backfired, and they got caught. Trying to steal what's making it rain for you. They feel like a dumbass, and they should, because they was determined to take you down for nothing. I feel like. Man, listen, for some of you guys, your friend wanted you to date their sibling. And they was determined to date you, but they had secret motives. They was nosy. I feel like they only was dating you to help your friend. Help your friend spot. And now they, and yes, they was thinking of you. All right, they was obsessed, but I feel like they had ulterior motives. All right, and you gave them the cold soldier. And now they want to fucking pop up. Listen, listen. Somebody wanted to send you a demon. And one, they was even trying to send you a demon through sex. Through, through sexual action. Transmitted to you. Look, opposites attract. Y'all was opposites and y'all don't attract. It was just a lesson. A lesson so you can value yourself, trust yourself, and love yourself. These cards are trying to figure out the lesson for them. The lesson is for them not to lie anymore. Stop being wicked. Stop being evil. It has nothing, nothing to do with them being impressed. If they think, oh, I'm supposed to find out I'm the impressed now. No, bitch. Stupid hoe. All right, your ass is supposed to love yourself. Okay, these karmas want to think about the past. Oh, I should have beat your ass. And you can't fight. And a lot of these karmas can't even fucking fight, man. Stop acting like you can fight. That's why they're trying to compromise and make amends. So they can have a problem because they can't fight. Don't be going around saying you're going to beat somebody ass and you can't fight. So them got these karmas thought they was bigger than you so they can beat you up. That's awful. Ugh. Like, that's not going to scare you. Bitch, I'm going to run a lap around your ass. Fuck out of here. That's why they hitting rock bottom, man. They need to stop talking shit about you. Spirit warned them, and they ain't want to listen. Spirit warned you, too, and you listen. They ain't listen. You been listening. They were still doing picture magic. Now they regret it. Reminiscing how they did picture magic, how it made them fucking have bankruptcy. How it made their car break down. All right, how they end up fucking going through some shit. Food poison or whatever. All right, whoever they, listen, whoever they chilling with, having sex with, they lying to this person. Or that person lying to them. All right, they, this person just deal with niggas that like to lie. All right, and they, and they don't know when to say deuces to niggas that be lying to them. This is why they, they end up giving all their energy to these niggas, and these niggas end up giving them nothing in return. And then they want to hate on a high-value impress. All right, because you you know when to say no. These karmas try to call you a high-value sex worker. No, I feel like these karmas are sex workers. Some of your friends, one of your friends was sex workers, and you could have expose them for that and they they create a whole bunch of drama and try to keep you in some type of scandal sex scandal because you expose them for being a sex worker all right truth coming out that's the thing you told you spoke up the truth you listen you spoke the truth and cut their asses off and they was mad trying to set you up behind your back and they what they should have done was went to god and repent ask for forgiveness and let the shit go instead of snooping spying stalking on social media going to psychic readers all right living a double life all right hiding their true feelings and shit this person is whack I never met whack people in my life like this. The amount of whackness that's attached to these karmics is insane. Just whack. Stirring up all this whack ass drama because they mad that they whack plan ain't work and you starting a passionate new beginning, manifesting new without them. All right, or you manifesting new and, and their spell is supposed to stop you. Uh-uh, listen, you manifesting greatness. You're manifesting celebration. You're celebrating good times. Good times. Here are the good times. Wait, here are the good times. Leave the past behind. Y'all left the past behind. You manifested new. And you started celebrating. These karmas was mad. All right, you said, see you again. You spoke the truth and cut them the fuck off. And you started moving forward. And they was mad as hell. Started telling all people, telling people all type of lies and shit. With this fool here, they started doing like foolish shit. Fool in reverse. They started doing foolish stuff. Taking risks. Just doing shit that, that, that can backfire. Collaborating with your old friends, old family members, old enemies. Yeah, they was looking up like old friends online, old enemies to contact. Them about you, and, and I'm getting these old friends feel guilty now because they was coming for you too. Where whoever this main karmic was that was in your life trying to take you down, trying to do death spells. 
The main karmic trying to kill you. They was all down in cahoots, but killing you. Listen, this is not y'all energy. When I feel y'all, I don't feel like y'all have no attachments on these karmics. Is these karmics attached to y'all? They know you ain't attached to them. They know you don't give a fuck about them. But they think you mad at them. You doing something. Because they ain't, they're not happy. God going to get y'all asses. God going to strike your ass down. Keep it. God already did. Trying to harm you. All right, five, these people were depressed and sad when you walked away. Even if people's fake friends talking shit about you, they was depressed and sad. They felt bad. They ain't realize, you know, the type of power you offer. I guess the, how power, I guess they feel powerful around you. They feel wanted and needed around you. And they ain't realize how much they were so codependent on you and needed you until you walked away. All right? Like, because it's codependency. There ain't nothing else. These karmas, I'm getting, they can't read tarot. They try to read tarot, oracle, and that feel. They try to be like you. And I feel like they mom could say, you trying to be like a, the tarot reader. They may call you a tarot reader if y'all read tarot. All right, listen, this karmic made an accident, made a mistake reading tarot cards because I feel like the tarot cards got to their head. It's like it, it, like it, par it poisoned their mind, and they know it because I feel like they was being lied to with those cards. The cards was lying to them. This is probably somebody else like the cards never lie. Uh, the cards, eh, it depends on who you, you're connected with. Them cards could lie to you, and you got to also know how to read them cards. And sometimes the cards will just throw out your energy. It will reflect your subconscious mind. Got you thinking that it's about somebody else and you just reading your own energy. So the cards, I'm not going to say could lie, but the cards could trick you if you don't know what the hell you're doing. This person is dangerous. Stay away from them. When, when, when something don't go their way, you tell them no, you walk away, they get dangerous on your ass. You got to stay away from them. You got to listen, stop. Y'all had to stop communicating with them. You had to stop mingling with them. All right, your intuition was telling you all the shit that they were trying to do to stop you and how they were trying to stop you. You had to let them go. But some of you guys, they were trying to sell you into sex work, make you like a sex work and make you sell you into prostitution with curses. I feel like they was placing curses on you so you can get kidnapped. They thought that shit was going to work. That's dumb. The universe don't do. You see, this is why this energy is hot for their asses. This is why this energy is hot for them. All right, and I feel like they 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 hated you. That's why they did they, they did this around the time when they was hating you the most, placing these curses on you for you to get kidnapped. Now it's like they trying to erase that from their mind, body, and spirit. They trying to cleanse themselves of that energy because they feel that curses on them is following them. They can't they they can't even explain how it, it landed on them. They can't even tell nobody how the spell worked on them. That's because they shouldn't have been doing it in the first place. First of all. They thought they knew everything. These people are not saying it. But they hoping that you don't get kidnapped so the shit won't backfire on them. Because they feel like the moment you do, they going to get kidnapped. And that's not how it's going to work. You're never going to get kidnapped. But if this person puts themselves in a sticky situation, they may just get kidnapped. So they need to be mindful. How about the number 12 is significant? Look, goal. You guys are heading towards your goals here. And this is what they were trying to stop you from doing. Stop you from ascending. They were actually doing heavy voodoo spells to stop you from ascending. They figured, like, you know, you know, we we supposed to do voodoo to stop a person's destiny. When you want to stop a person's destiny, you go to voodoo. And this is this is a bad teacher because I feel like they're the type to go around and tell every other person to go ahead and do a spell to stop somebody. And as that's not even power supposed to go. That they're not telling this person to talk to spirit first. They're not warning them of the repercussions, how it could backfire. It doesn't matter if you think it's fair. The spirits in the universe and God don't see it's fair. It's not going to work. They're just out here telling people do voodoo. Do spell. Do a spell. It's gonna, yeah, do a spell. It worked for me. Do a spell. Now I look at them. They're looking back and they see how nothing was working for them in the first place. They were trying to come down to you and say, oh, this ain't working out for you. That ain't, they don't know what's really what you got planned, first of all. They want to make fun of you. All right, laugh and say, oh, you ain't going to be nobody. Now look at you now. Look at you now. This karma game go through no changes from back then up until right now, but you went through many changes. They may not see it. They don't need to see it, but you have. And and I feel like they know it. They know that you are expanding and growing. All right, I feel like they want you to know that how they're expanding and growing. They're not expanding or growing in life. They sitting on their telephone, all right, talking and gossiping still or on their phone stalking other people. Tower, bam. They call the tower messing with your goals. I'm getting this is someone that's so focused, too focused on you. All right, I don't know why views is coming up again. If some of you guys post content, all right, I'm getting a movie here. I feel like these comments will watch you like a movie here. 
Okay, and it's like they was probably trying to say, oh, your views is low. You only get uh, like 50 views, which is a lot. And I feel like y'all probably get more than that. Or, or maybe you get like 50 likes and they trying to say, oh, that's not a lot. A real influencer get over 100K more. This person don't know because they not a real influencer. Even if they post the shit online and they got some views, like, yeah, they, okay, you went viral. Are you still viral? Do you have the 100K followers? Or do you have consistent support? Cause there's people with a hundred k followers supporters, but they ain't, it's not just consistent support. That's like old shit from over the years when they had their social media. Is there, is are their followers going up? Are their views going up, or is it the same? You get what I'm saying? Like this person needs to shut shut up, and they need to shut down whatever they're trying to do to keep themselves on this high horse. Cause they're catching the towel. Their their goals are collapsing, literally. Whatever they wanted to come to you was on them. Their whole entire fucking life is collapsing. Look, profession. All right, I'm getting into a profession that's collapsing here. And this person keeps investing more money into, like, their job or their business. I'm, I'm sorry, their profession, their skill, their talent. Not their job, because they ain't got no job. All right, and it's like they're not producing any money to make up the money that they wasted on, on their business. They're not connected with their business. That's what, they don't love their business. They don't love what they do. They're just doing it for the money. All right, and some of y'all may have a business, spiritual business, spiritual calling. They try to say, you you, you don't really do this. You only, yeah, look, I just saw a profession. Spiritual profession, they trying to say, you only doing this for the money. All right, and I feel like you don't really need to respond to that. All right, it's clearly not true. I feel like these karmics don't know what they even want to do as far as, like, their life and with their skills and their talents and how to make money. We have the hangman reverse. All right, Pisces energy. I feel like these karmics were unhinged. They're unhinged. I'm getting that. They can't go back. To where they started. That's what I'm getting. Like a karma just feel like they just need to give up. Maybe that's what's best for them. And just start over elsewhere. Somebody's delusional. And that's why they was unhinged. Look, good news is coming. I feel like this karmic is seeing how you're receiving all this good news, all this support. And you're about to receive back that energy that they were trying to block you from. And how they're not receiving anything. That's their life. They That's them, though. They compare themselves a lot. All right, Spirit is encouraging you, giving you so much miracles and surprises. Good news is on the way, and I feel like this karma is jealous of that. Look, Page of Pentacles. This good news could be a new offer. All right, y'all might receive a new offer this Mercury Retrograde, a new opportunity. Just, you know, be mindful, especially if you got to sign a soul contract. Be mindful of that soul contract. You don't want to be fucking meeting new people with this Mercury Retrograde, sign these contracts with them, and then it's like this. All right, but um, for the most part, I do feel like it's good news. I just want y'all to be mindful. All right, I do feel that. Look, imagine I feel like y'all been manifesting, and some coins is about to come in. All right, some it's like it may be like a small amount of coins, like maybe not like five dollars, but maybe like you know a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, but it's something. All right, with that page of may be small, but it's something. And I feel like you're gonna be able to like manifest big with that. Whatever this offer is, it don't have to be money. All right, you're just, just know you're gonna be happy, blissful, blessed. Eight of Cups, these karmic should have walked away. Maybe their dreams wouldn't be tarnished and crushed. Look, I feel like, I'm telling you again, this karmic is comparing themselves to you. I'm telling you, this karmic has, is they're psychotic. They're psychotic. All right, they're, they should have walked away. They're thinking, damn, I should have walked away. Maybe my dreams will be sweet. Maybe I'll have sweet dreams. You know, I like their actual dreams. Or maybe they will have nightmares. But they're in fright. They're afraid of their dreams falling apart because it is. And they keep thinking about how you won. Double win. Double success, double triumphant, double um vic victorious energy. You achieved your goal. You won this battle as you always were. Then you got a, um, a medallion for um for, for conquering the devil, for conquering the demons. Your demons and their demons. You got a medallion. All right, and your trusted alliances, your ancestors got your back. They're going to always make sure you prosperous. And this karmic is blocked from their birthright. They never really had one. I feel like this is them. They need to fucking deal with their problems with themselves. This is them, and that's also them. They need to fucking deal with that inner conflict. I feel like, honestly, they don't have no birthright because they, they, they have no right to even be here, to this universe. You're an earth angel. They should have never came for you. You are a beautiful earth angel, too. Some of y'all, I'm getting, could be Chinese. All right, or, or y'all, listen, we've been picking up on our ancient ancestors. Some of y'all was Chinese in a past life, and you was beautiful. Some of y'all could have been black Chinese. Y'all had jet black hair. All right, I'm seeing, like, dark skin with jet black hair. Okay. Some of y'all could have been fair skin Chinese, okay? And, and people want to know, like, why so many, like, you know, fair skin Chinese now? Because they watered down our bloodline back in those ancient times. Like, they was breeding up the woman. 
back to back so they can create a bloodline and they can create a legacy and stuff and then they they was taking the woman they was killing the man and taking the woman from the man forcing them to have sex marry them and stuff i told y'all this already this happened in slavery same thing with ancient asia all right we was enslaved there too they just wiped out a lot of our history because you know Y'all know the Asians are very sacred, very spiritual, very old. They don't want us to know we go way back to Asia. They'll just tell us Africa. You know, we finally discover in North America, right? They, but they just want to know Africa. Like, some of us is from Europe. Some of us is from the Canadian era, area. Some of us from South America. Some of us was our bloodline literally started in the Caribbean. So, yeah. We'll just keep going. It's all Chinese. Y'all Chinese. Y'all got Chinese in y'all blood. Maybe that's why some of y'all like Chinese noodles. Or maybe y'all like to eat, like, not just, like, Chinese food, but, like, maybe you enjoy the cuisine. You enjoy the culture. That's because it's, like, I'm getting your dad. What do you guys get your, one of your dad. I don't know if it's the same father. All right, if you have this lifetime, it could be another one. But one of your dads or your granddads, okay, or, like, a father figure, he was Chinese, Okay. And that could have been where the bloodline started for you with that grand, that dad or granddad, great granddad, okay? Um, Six of Pentacles here, but that's inherited. Like, you definitely inherited that Chinese bloodline, the Chinese. And, and I'm getting, you know, I guess the knowledge, the wisdom that's connected with it, the spiritual practices, all that's within you. Y'all gonna be learning more. I feel like a karmic may have knew this and they didn't want you to learn about your Chinese culture because they could have lost that. They never had it to lose it. This is the problem. Y'all dealing with psychopaths from a whole nother galaxy. Are right, they from a weird place in the, in the cosmos, not this realm, in a whole nother universe, multiverse, that they're all fucking whack. They're all crazy. The angels and the spirits try to help this person, these, these, these beings, but they're too depressed. And they're too busy trying to stop it. Man, listen. You know what I'm talking about. Last one. The, right when I said last one, the world. Again, we are completing this cycle and starting a new cycle. I'm seeing this whole situation wrapping up. And a whole new cycle is being manifested for you. A whole new cycle of care. TLC. All right. Whereas, like, you and your person are going to be together. All right. Y'all going to be able to heal each other. You and your real person. All right. Some of y'all could be from Thailand, too. Look, pride. I feel like your ancestors have a lot of pride. They're prideful. And they want you to st stand, stand in your stand, stand in your square, prideful. Being proud that you may be, that you may have Chinese in your blood, tying your blood. If some of y'all are fair skinned, right, or white, Caucasian, Spanish, Asian, be prideful that, or proud that you have African American in your blood. All right, Hispanic, European, and I don't mean these fucking dog Neanderthals. No, the real natural organic souls that are tied to these lands. Stop thinking everything started with the Neanderthal when the Neanderthal just got here. And there are some beings out here, yes, some people out here. I'm telling y'all that I'm telling that gene, that DNA splicing, that theory was real. I see. I feel like a lot of people got different pieces to the puzzle that adds up to the story that will really happen to this universe. All right, and they definitely did some DNA splicing because I would never forget this. I looked at this boy hair. He was fair skinned. I looked at this boy. I ain't gonna expose his his um his um his ethnicity, whatever, wherever he's from. Okay, because that doesn't matter. All right, they just use that as a figure, as a mask. Okay, I'm I'm this. You know, you would never suspect I'm that because I'm this. Even with black folks, yeah, it's a mask. All right, it's like even their melanin don't really have no vibe. It, it may be viable to the white man, but it doesn't matter to the universe. All right, because you a traitor. You traded your woman. The divine feminine for these fucking Neanderthals. You will never ever be considered as. You know. Uh, we will never just be honored. But anyway like I was about to say. Those DNA splices that shit is real. Okay I know I be lot of gang. And that is real. I looked at a boy and I looked at his hair. You can pick up a DNA from nails, hair, blood, spit. I saw his hair. And spirit showed me fruit flies. Fruit flies. That's what confirmed me. There are some walking DNA splice beings out here. And we got to be careful. We cannot be mingling with these motherfuckers. We're going to have, have human, have robot children. If, you know, if, if, if you already got spirit babies waiting for you that's connected with you. 
Okay, yeah. Because sometimes your kids could come out with with their that karmic energy that's tied with that other parent. And, and it's up to you to help them learn their lessons and, you know, whatever lessons that they got to go through to clear that karmic debt. Okay, you know, but most of the time, you know, kids going to be kids. You know, let them live their life. But once you start to see a pattern... As they grow up, you want to get them out of that because they got some karmic energy attached to them that's tied to that other parent. All right, but um, yeah, that could happen. <laughs> I don't know how many of them, but I, I saw one. I, I I wouldn't be surprised. The rest of my karma got that in their DNA too. But like I said, he was confirmed. Okay, it was a he. He had fruit fly in his DNA. My third eye is on point. I can read, honey. I saw it. And he looks dirty. When you look at him, he looks dirty. <laughs> okay? And I, like I said, he was fair-skinned. He wasn't Caucasian. Okay, but he was fair-skinned. At least... Well, even though... Listen, even listen, he was definitely, he definitely had car. He was definitely Caucasian. Alright? He was definitely Caucasian. Let me not even say that. He definitely was. <laughs> he definitely was. Okay? But this is your karmic right now. This is them. Ah! Stressed out, screaming. Ah! They can't believe it. You still are impressed. And I'm nothing. I'm shit. How'd you get for being a hater? Infatuated on taking you down. You the impress. They're going to keep spying on the impress. Living that double life. Telling people, I'm not spying on you. And they are spying on you. Okay, but I'm going to pull y'all some tarot and then we're going to leave. Now, not everyone is DNA splice. Some people, you know, they lost their spark because of, you know, whatever they've been doing on this planet. Then they're not healing. You get what I'm saying? So, it's like they lose that spark or they lose their soul they a lost soul they just lose themselves you know not always just dna splice but that that child he wasn't it was a grown man i'm just calling him a child that that boy child he he had fruit fly in his dna okay keep working hard listen eight um five of pentacles i'm getting y'all keep working hard all right, because the more hard work you put in, the more it separates the karmic from you. They realize that they can't do shit to you. They're stupid. They got exposed. I'm telling you, a karmic is in poverty right now. They did a lot of spells to leave you in poverty, and this is what they're going through. It could be two people walking around in poverty, homeless here. Somebody could be homeless with a baby. Somebody might have wanted you homeless with your baby. That's sad. Yeah. Somebody that was in competition with you. They wanted to put you and your child in a bad situation. Lock y'all up here. Kill your kid. This person was thinking a lot. Killing you guys. Keeping y'all trapped. Suffocating y'all. Killing y'all. This person is delusional. That's it. It's the, it's the delusion that makes people make them want to kill people. Yeah. King of Pentacles. This is someone that thinks that they all of that. And I feel like their entire field is dry. It's dry grass. Dead grass. They're not growing anything. This is just their... I'm getting honestly... I'm getting... They're just a figurehead know why i'm getting that there could be a i don't know i don't know listen with this king of pentacles this person is wearing a king of pentacle mask like they're prosperous i'm telling you but they're really the five of pentacles all right i'm telling you they just put on like they got it all this could be a tour they just put on like they got it all like they're fruitful they're abundant they're blossoming because they don't want people to know that they really lying in that day in the five of pentacles this person lied on a sun child a star child sun child all right, you're a dragon child. They lied on you. This this liar got what's coming for him. It's like his lies circle back around. Look, three of wands. Honestly, what I'm getting, this is my back to send the car, okay? His, his shit got sent back. His lies, his spells got sent back. All right, whatever. I feel like whoever was coming for you, if he was coming for you, well, not if, I'm the same one that was coming for you, he got people coming for his ass now about his narcissistic karmic ways aggressive ways coming for a baby coming for a child like this person really asked for it they were spiteful and evil they hated you because you're an earth angel and now look at them they look at them they look at themselves in the mirror and they and they realize how much in poverty they are how evil they are and how and they think about how they try to attack you and your kid all right this person was even thinking of like raping um oh my i'm not saying it i'm not saying it 
this is why God protected you from this, this motherfucker that got a bunch of demons. He's emperor, but he got like four demons on him that's holding him back and restricting him. He's blocked. He's blocked from the cosmos. The universe ain't fucking with him. TMI ain't fucking with him. The shit, the shit that I just picked up that I, I refuse to say. This motherfucker is gonna. He he feels it. He's gonna die. He he he's gonna die in his grave. It, I mean, obviously, but I'm getting like his grave. Like he know he's gonna die. He know he got a grave waiting for his ass. He know it. He know he know. And it's it's almost like he's trying to put on like he don't care, but he does care. He know that God about to deal with his ass. Sagittarius energy, Leo energy here. Can't, can't, well, Pisces energy with high priestess. All right, you a high priestess. God protects you because you are one of his children. One of his siblings, siblings, siblings. One of his oracles, all right? One of his leaders. One of his nuns. And this karmic try to keep you trapped all in your damn head about God. Like God didn't choose you. Who got time for that? Who's wasting their time doing spells to block someone from honoring the most high and fulfilling God's work? Only a demon and the devil would do that. Not no one with a real purpose. This is why the ancestors are blocking them. The Orishas, the same Yamaya, blocking their asses because they're delusional. How dare you come forth towards a royal divine being, a divine being. Bow down. Bow down now, karmic. Because you rebelling and not bowing down got you karma. The spirit ain't effing with the spirits coming for your ass. They all look this false king of cousin. I love you. I love you. Fuck you. You 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 are negative. You are mentally entrapped and you are blocked by the spirits. Dumbass. And they slow. They don't know how to reevaluate life. They don't know how to take their time and be practical. They're just mentally slow. Literally, that's what I'm getting. Like, and, oh my gosh. Re I feel like this person could have rejected school. Rejected getting a diploma, uh, uh, you know. They Somebody could have offered them to, you know, get a trade, do something. They're like, no, I don't want to do that. It's okay. I don't want to do that. No, no, no. It's okay, baby. Like, some of y'all could have had a corn dog recently or a pig in a blanket. All right, look, you intuitive. I feel like you know every damn thing. Like, this person is just sad. All right, and you know that they was collaborating, working with you behind the scenes. And all them people uh, that was working against you with them is in heavy burning. And they could have blocked them. All right? And this person thought they was going to get their way, but they really secretly, like, this is what I'm getting. It's like, they're trying to say, oh, I got my way, but it's like, it's not true. And that's what they were trying to say, but they was hiding how they truly felt. And this person thought they was going to get you back. They thought they was going to apologize. They imagine we was going to work. You was going to apologize to them. Y'all get back together and, and everything will just be okay. No. Nah. Like, No. You the impress, man. They try to juggle you. They try to juggle impress for a queen of swords. Listen to a queen of swords. Sorry, but she's bitter. And this, then this bitch Pooms is bitter too. She was just talking about you, telling people. I'm getting. She was telling people stuff about you, and she was telling this, this false masculine to send back whatever spells you were sending to her. You never sent anything. They sent shit to you, and they ain't want to admit that. They want to tell you sending them stuff, but they ain't sending you nothing. That's a lie. These people lie. They're too childish to be lying. These people are adults and lying. You know, like, why be an adult if you're just going to lie? Like a little kid. Stop lying. All right, Oshun is here with you. Oshun is protecting you. You have Oshun's energy. That's what I'm getting. All right? Some of y'all, like, y'all feel connection with Oshun here. All right? You want to have children. Karmics need to freaking recognize who the hell they messing with before they come trying to starseed. All right? I thought I was in for an hour. Time been going by really slow. That's that Mercury retrograde. It's really slowing down energy. Okay. I thought I was talking longer than 59 minutes. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. Listen, you have wisdom. You're very wise. And they were jealous of your wisdom, like I said. All right. And listen, reflection. Everything is reflecting back on their asses. God is reflecting everything. See all aspects of yourself through the reflection of the one who mirrors your, your hidden self. Exactly. You can see all aspects of yourself through the reflection of the one who mirrors your hidden self. That hidden self will be the self that you're hiding. This could be good or bad. Maybe you're suppressing your light because you're so full of dark. Well, see all aspects of yourself through the reflection of the one who mirrors your hidden self. Okay, so if someone reflecting to you, power, grace, light, see all that about yourself. Now, for some of you guys, you guys could be reflecting back what this person is hiding, like their, their true self, their shadow. And you are reflecting all of that back to them, that they need to heal. All right, and this person is just confused. 
You're magnificent. They want to say, oh, I can't believe you can't work. Why do you work? It's because you're magnificent. You are amazing, magnificent, and unique. But most importantly, you are enough. And this is why God set you free because you know your worth. All right, none of this energy, listen, none of this energy work was going to work because you love yourself. You have self-love. Bam! Live your truth and share the love that is in your soul. All right, listen. Feel like, you see how my card is damaged? It's like you was damaged. Love was damaging for you. Love is hard. But you didn't allow that damage to make you stop loving. You didn't shut down your heart. These karmas got hurt one time and, and hate love. It's because they're not made with love. They're made with hate. And that's the goddamn truth. All right? Keep following your intuition about these people. These people are not of love. They are demons. All right? With this transcendent, you are transcendent. And I feel like you can clearly see these people are demons. Be patient. They're going to receive their karma. I feel like they already are. Just be patient. You're going to soon see how they're out of your life for good. No, you listen. You are, you are a limitless star seed. With a free spirit, they can't keep you trapped with booty. Okay, so they need to surrender to that booty. All right, because you're gonna keep living your dreams. All right, and 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 living by your choices. You know, living for you. All right, inner alchemy. This is you manifesting for you. Inner alchemy is achieved when you react to to fear with love. You're transmuting all that negative energy, all the mistakes into love. Like it would just. For the karma, they may feel like it was a mistake and that's their lesson. But for you, it was a lesson for you to trust your intuition. All right, let go of those things serving you and just keep moving forward. That also show you that you're doing the right thing. These people, they will pretend to meditate. They'll say, I'm about to meditate. But it was really them trying to astral travel to you to watch you. These people thought they were spiritually advanced. And they, and they said they received signs from the universe that they're so wise and they're right. Their vibration was low. And I feel like their vibration was, was like trapped. In a low, confusing energy. And it had them confused. Their whole entire life was altered. Their whole entire reality was altered. They were living in an illusion. All right? They, and I feel like whatever power they thought they once had has been released from their mind. They know that they had was just filled with air. All right? And they really wasn't um picking up shit. And that's the damn truth. They're not intuitive. The hell? Lying on freaking intuition. Let me use my deck because my deck is calling me. And then I'm going to be done for good. I promise. Y'all see how my crystal cut me to let me know that they was pricking their finger? You are intuitive. You are intuitive. This is, they hated that. They didn't even want to honor and respect your intuition. All right? This is why you was telling them to get the hell out because you felt intuitively that was in your energy. And they'll say, no, no, no. I'm not going anywhere until you die. This is a troll. A troll that sold they soul to a devil energy. You are meant to be a popular influencer. You're meant to be an influencer, a popular one at that. And these comments trying to say, you're not meant to be an influencer. You're not even popular. I got more views than you. They're not an influencer, though. Wow. They're, they're, they're a home wreck. Yeah. They're a home wrecker. They're not an influencer. They're a karmic. Thank yeah, you, God. Thank yeah. you, God. Thank you, spirit. Karmic friend, lover, family, co-worker, or neighbor. They are karmic. This could be a karmic influencer that just like to copy and mimic other people and, and just love to go viral and, and trend. Be all trendy. All right, no. Nah. Listen, you are the healer, light worker. You listen. You are online because you are a healer. All right, God put you online to be a healer. These comments trying to say you kind of you trying to copy other readers, other readers that's online. They trying to copy other people, whatever the fuck they do. All right, someone's a warlock. Yeah, this person know they're a warlock. They could even admit that, and now they trying to take it back. Now they want to be all Christ like and God. I feel like they're even rejected from the church. The church is not accepting them, and I feel like you are receiving downloads from spirit about this, confirming this. Like this person is is cursed. This could be an Aries. All right, you could be receiving downloads about an Aries here. Spirit could have told you some bad news about an Aries, not to trust an Aries here. Yeah, Hydro Man, some of y'all could be a water sign. That that Aries could have been using your Maya. All right, could have been trying to use water magic that failed. Look, they got karma coming for their asses That with that boat arriving. All right, F incoming, flowing with the currents of life. So whatever energy they was flowing in, that's what's coming towards their asses. And they, and they can't be scared now. They need to just accept karma. All right, you are the manifest the light worker, so keep manifesting. You are the true magician, and you are protected by your spiritual team, even your magic, even your light work. Don't feel like your magic gonna backfire anything. Spirit always protect you. Someone is doing spell work on your chakras. They sure was doing spell work. It could have been this Aries. What a damn shame. And you still walking in your purpose and your destiny. Why they out here confused, lost hair, falling out? They wanna fucking they 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 all cross eyed and shit. Listen, somebody could be a cancer. Somebody could be a false cancer. As like I said, somebody mom could be a cancer. All right, we okay, somebody smoke weed i don't know somebody was trying to say you're gonna get cancer lung cancer if you keep smoking weed or the tobacco I, listen bye 
All right, you're a Syrian star seed. If y'all want to believe you want to get lung cancer from smoking weed and smoking the fucking piece of tobacco, go ahead and believe that. All right, I feel like you should do your own research first before you believe that shit because there's people that smoking for years and they don't have lung cancer. They may be black, but they don't got no lung cancer. All right, you come from a golden bloodline, a Syrian golden bloodline. I feel like you have Syrian star seed in your DNA, and I feel like they are royalty. Royal ancestors that are Syrians, they come from luxury, holy grail bloodline, golden bloodline, rich, man, rich manifestation. I feel like your mother could have came from this golden bloodline too. All right, even if you know it got watered down a bit, she just need to make by herself again. That's not for everybody. Amin Ra, yeah, I feel like she come from um Amin Ra as well. That golden bloodline that's connected with Amin Ra. All right, God here, okay. You are, yeah, you are a transmuter light worker, okay. Frequency workers, okay. You guys know how to work the frequencies and transmute it. Like this karma is going around telling people not to listen to you. You false, you wrong, you cursed. These people thought they were doing something longer. So that means they're right. Listen, you're a light worker. You've been a light worker longer. You've been a light worker prior to this, this universe even being created. You was doing light work for Tiamat. All right, they need to chill. Their ego too big. All right. Some of y'all could be a Sagittarius or dealing with one. All right. And some of y'all could be Scorpio. I was getting the Scorpio and Sagittarius. Not that you're meant to be with a, a Sagittarius. Some of y'all could have been a a Sagittarius in a past life, or some of y'all could have been a Scorpio in a past life, or you're a Scorpio now, all right, and, some, and you may have Sagittarius in your chart, check that, y'all have my Sagittarius in the 12th house, and, and, and Capricorn too, okay, your 12th house is where your secret enemies are, they was coming for you, they was trying to kill you, I feel like they came from a, a past life into this lifetime still trying to kill you, and they made certain deals with so with certain deals and so and signed certain soul contracts with entities. And 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 it was promised, you know, all this power if they was to kill you. This is why they went to these same entities this lifetime. And I, I don't feel like, you know, it's I don't feel like it's like because you remember I said your Maya and stuff. I don't feel like it's your Maya or any of Risha. I feel like it's the devil. Okay? Like demons. Yeah, they could have been trying to use your Maya, but I feel like they were doing other shit too, and y'all know it. They were trying to put this karmic label on you. Like, there, this is someone from a whole nother, um, not dimension, a whole nother universe. That was just trying to label all the divine beings here karmic and get them kicked out. I'm telling you, I know what I'm talking about. You're a psychic here. You can tap into all this galactic wars and stuff. All right, this karmic does not want to believe. They want to turn a blind eye, but their spirit, their soul is a part of this galactic war that is for keeping the planet in darkness. Clearly. Because they're just going to take your power and use it for their own good, but in a, in a way where it's like they be manipulating others. They was never going to do anything right. Someone's going to jail. Your psychic gifts could, could clearly tell you that someone's going to jail for messing with the, uh, an ascension light worker, ascending God light worker that's you. This karma trying to poison your food, trying to poison your dragon, your dragon's food. And now they're, listen, this person was trying to fight a dragon. I don't, what world they come from? What universe? They need to heal. You a queen. Okay, it could be a queen of dragons. A queen mother dragon here. All right, I'm seeing you as a dragon with like a crown on your head. This person tried to fight a dragon. They, wow. But I know a karmic that tried to fight raw. All right, so yeah, these karmics, they're desperate. They don't give a fuck. They figure they on earth. They protected by earth. God ain't coming here to fuck me up. It's all spiritual, honey bunny. It's all spiritual. So yo, your spirit, if it's attached to you, all right, it's still going to get affected. All right, well, your crown is. It's all right, because a lot of them is getting ready to die. Okay, a lot of them is getting ready to die. A lot of them are going to be in mental institutions. All right, police picking them up, putting them, sending them to homeless shelters and shit. All right, yeah. You you are intuitive. They should have left you alone. They see you intuitive. Why the fuck are they bothering an intuitive being? You are intuitive. And you're royal. And you're a Syrian. And you're a healer. Why the fuck are they bothering you for? Oh, because... This person said, my intuition said, like, what is the reason for you even coming for that? All right, like I said, you a stupid hoe. That's what you are, Carmen. I love y'all so much. Namaste.